and it's a beautiful day today. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Um, I wanted to show you my favorite thing that I'm really enjoying right now is watercoloring. And I'm doing the layers of beauty. This is in our brand new catalog. All right. If you don't have a catalog and you don't have a demonstrator, uh, hit me up there. I'll give you my um, email and I'll send one of these out to you. Okay. Um, and it's, oh gosh, it's so, it's such a great catalog. Um, and this is in it. Okay. This is the layers of beauty. We're going to do watercoloring today. This is your die cuts that you would get with it too if you do the bundle. Absolutely stunning because you can cut this out. Ooh, so pretty. Um, but today I thought let's just do watercolors. And I have a whole bunch of reinkers. Now we, we can't get the new ones yet, the new reinkers, but that's okay. I can make it look like it's one of the new ones, even though it isn't. Um, <laughs> The new ones, by the way, <clears throat> just so you know, this is the this is some of the new ones right here. Pretty in Pink, um, Summer Splash, uh, Shy Shamrock, Petunia Pop, and Peach Pie. Okay, so these are some of them right here. So pretty. I'm just waiting for the reinkers to come. Um, very, very, very pretty colors. And uh, once I get the reinkers in May, uh, we, we couldn't pre-order them, so we're going to have to kind of wait. Um, obviously, you saw my on-stage stuff with all my goodies that I got. Oh, my gosh, I got so many pretty goodies. And um, I've got the Color Club going on right now, if you guys are interested. But this is a little um, bookmark everybody gets for the Color Club. I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of us uh, at on-stage got this. This is so cool. Um, if you're a color uh, person like I am, di using different colors, they show you the, the monochromatic, the color your way, complementary colors, you know, uh, analogous uh, colors and neutrals um, by just turning this little wheel here. Very cool. Love this. Um, did this in college, actually, years ago. <laughs> in my heyday. <laughs> Um, another another quickie here, when you are doing watercolors, you definitely need some watercolor paper. So you want to want to grab this um, in our um, in our on our website, uh, the watercolor paper. That's item code 149612. It is available right now. Um, and also don't forget to get um, my water painters. Okay, these are the water painters. There's three of them in a set. Here we go. Um, this is what you need for your tools. That's 151298. I'll have these later on down in the, um, uh, in the intro area. So you can kind of uh, see what, you know, if you want to check these out or something, because these are really cool. You definitely need these. You need, you need watercolor, uh, paper. You need some, you need to be able to blend and, and do the fun watercolorings and go get some reinkers. You must have some retired ones. Um, you know, we got this is retired month. We're gonna get rid of some stuff, you know. So why not use some of your retired stuff and and some of the stuff that's still uh, uh, you know available. I'm gonna be using mossy meadow. That's available still. Granny apple green. I've got a little bit of flirty flamingo. Uh, petal pink, and then um, just for fun, I might just try. Um, Either Melon mom, Mambo, I'm going to put Magenta back, or Polish Pink, okay? Um, oldies but goodies. <laughs> Keep those. You never know when they're going to come back. <laughs> so, first things first. Um, in this, uh, just, as, just so you know, this comes as a bundle, and it comes with all the masks, okay? The masking, there's five different masks. And, oh, let me get the rest of them. That would be nice. They're right here. Okay. So this is all the masks. There's five of them, okay? And when I do this, um, it has these little uh, areas right here, okay? And then on the very top, and, and you have to kind of see it with the light, it'll tell you which one, uh, which, which one this is. This is number four. So we need to find number one. This, is, um, this one's number one. This will be the big one, all right? So that's going to be the first one we're going to use. This is number two, all right. This is number, this has got to be three then. Um, this is three. Let's see, it's got to be, yeah, three. And then we've got four. 
And then our very last one, because you can tell I, this is the last one because this is all my washi tape I used on it. So this is number five, okay? So um, right now, what I'm gonna do is get some washi tape, whatever you've got available, um, and let's use number one, okay? Now, I did it a fun way. I did this a fun way. I used this glass mat, all right? Now, when I use the glass mat, I'm gonna get one of my watercolor papers Okay, now this is either gonna come out really great or it's gonna look awful. <laughs> so if it looks awful, you have a trash can. <laughs> so what I do first is I line it up with my grid here and I don't wanna line it up with this one. I just, you can if you want, but I'd rather just go like this, you know, get it all nice and straight and then um, make sure it's all lined up perfectly move my washi tape and I'm just going to put it right there okay now I'm going to take my washi tape off of this this last one because it's still good and I'm going to just get these three sides you can do all four if you want um, I think I just did three on this one so I'm going to line that up these two together and then I'm going to put this one here, okay? So you got that, looks pretty good. Now, when you're doing this and you're starting to paint, I want you to, in, in each area, I want you to take your index and your thumb, um, opposite hand, and just kind of hold it down. Because if you don't, it kind of pops up and it'll it'll get, it'll get seep through and I don't want you to, I don't want that to happen. Um, you could put washi tape all through this if you wanted to. You know, if you want to do some more, we can do one more if you like. Um, but it's still good to uh, secure it with your hand as well, okay? Now, before we start, I want to show you something. Uh, I forgot to do this. I forgot to show you my in color card kit. Look at this. Since we're doing some colors, I may as well show you. Oh, look what I found. Oh my God, I found my card. I've been looking for it for hours. Anyway, <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. This is my card kit for this month, okay? Um, it's all the beautiful colors that we have using the flower cart bundle. If you, I, ha I might have one available, one more left. Um, if, you, if I do, uh, if you're interested, uh, go to my website and, um, you know, uh, or else go to my Facebook. Uh, I have got a public one, uh, Karen and the Lake Stamper, and say, say, hey, Karen, I really want that. I really want that. Um, so, you know, let me know. I've got maybe one. <laughs> but aren't these darling? Oh my gosh, darling, darling, darling. Oh my gosh, so cute. Everything from the new, everything's new, 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 new. Now, you can either wait and put it together once you get your stuff because um, uh, you can't get these colors if you are not um, a demonstrator. If you are and you already have ordered it, you're all ready to go. You just need to get the flower card kit because I can't stamp it for you, okay? But um, if you want these colors now, you can join me. Oh my gosh, look what I have for everybody. Look at this. Love what you do and then you can join me. <laughs> And you can get all the colors right now. <laughs> this little box comes with it too. I think it's darling. So every color under the rainbow. I think it looks pretty cute. Um, and I love the flower card. I, honest to God, I was so glad that it's going to be a carryover, right? I hadn't used it yet. And I was like, oh my God, I buy these stamp bundles and I, I never use them. What the heck, Karen? And this is the new eyelet uh, embossing folder. So yeah, I mean, come on, it's rocking it. So, <laughs> yay me. <laughs> okay, that was my commercial. Um, back to what we were doing, watercoloring. So, I was looking all morning for this, for this one here. This was my very first attempt, um, and it came out beautiful. I used Flirty Flamingo with Petal Pink, um, Pumpkin Pie, uh, Mossy Meadow, and uh, Granny Apple. So, about five colors, okay? You don't need, you don't need a lot of colors. This is not brain surgery. This is easy to do. Um, and it makes you look like you're a painter. I mean, I'm going to sign this. I Maybe I'll frame it. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I can't give it away. <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> um, I kill me. 
This is the one I just did to kind of show you a lighter, kind of a Mother's Day kind of feel. I think it came out really pretty, lighter pinks. Um, this one's obviously your darker ones. Okay, so just something different. Soft, not soft, uh, you know, and so many fun colors. Now, you're gonna need this beautiful, beautiful um, stamp. Uh, uh, man, but I'm sorry, block, <laughs> duh. Um, and this is block F, all right? Now, some of the, there's a couple blocks that are going to be retired. I don't know why, but this is gonna be retired too. It's $19, I had to get it because when I travel, I like to have everything, you know, at my disposal. This little guy here is also um, retiring. Um, I can't believe it, I know, right? And I think that one, I'm not sure but I bought two of them. But notice that this little guy right here fits nice and handy right in here, okay? So I'm just letting you know that this is lovely to have. You gotta have this. Um, and while we're here, I'm just gonna open this up and get this one out uh, because we need that for our water coloring. So there we go. We had a commercial. <laughs> I had to show you this. I just love it. Uh, Hopefully you already have it. If you don't, you want to get it because it's it's going to be done, retired. Bye-bye. All right, so we've got number one. First colors first. I always use a lighter, lighter color on the very first color, okay? So first things first, you want to get some. I've got some water here um, in this little vase, and it's kind of nice to have for your blending pens. So I'm going to use the big brush first, okay? Nice big brush. I've got a nice little area here to kind of brush off some stuff. I also want to see what kind of color it turns out to be. Let's see, here's your petal pink. All right, so I'm just going to leave this here. I'm going to take my petal pink. It's our lightest one here. Very light, very, very light. Let's put it right here so you can see it. I think you can see it, yeah. All right, we're just going to put right here a little dot. doesn't have to have a lot. And then you're gonna have some water on this, all right? So I just squeeze a little bit of water, just a little bit. You can also put it on your glass mat too. Um, if, but if you don't have a glass mat, you've got a block because you got a stamp, right? So I'm just gonna take a little bit and then I wanna see how dark it is. If it's too dark, that's too dark. I want it really light, okay? Um, so I'm gonna add some more water and I, that's about the right color right there. So I'm gonna go in that little areas first to see if I like it. Now that's a little bit too, too light. So always get your Sidekick um, watercolor paper next to you so you can kind of play with the colors. That's all you're doing is you're just playing with the colors. Notice my hand is making sure that this is secure. So as I go and do this really light color, your light color is your first one, it's your baseline for your flower, okay? And you can have it as light or as dark as you want. If it's too dark, you're not gonna see all the outlining of the flowers, okay? So that's why I don't want it really dark, but I don't want it really light. I don't want it like, you know, pale, pale. Even though petal pink is not my favorite color. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> I keep thinking, is it gonna retire today? No. <laughs> they got rid of that pretty blush one, but they didn't get rid of this one. They're never gonna get rid of it. But for this purpose, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a bad color <laughs> to use. <laughs> now see, nice color. It's really just the outline. It's just your baseline of your flowers, okay? Um, you're not doing anything fancy. This is a nice brush. And you again, you've got your hand securing so that it doesn't make any leaking, okay? And that's it, that's it. Simple, right? And then I take my little chamois. My chamois is from my beautiful little, um, this, this little placement here. So my little glass, my little glass mat. And I love that. You just get your chamois wet and you can, you know, get everything nice and clean. So we're done with uh, petal. All right. Here were some other ones that I had that I just happened to put in front of me just to see if I wanted to use them or not. Now, um, do we want to do, do we want to do a pink color? I think we do. Um, I think I just like the, the softness of this one. Um, I love this one. This was my very first one. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Everything I do is beautiful. <laughs> oh, 
geez. So um, let's take this off. Um, <laughs> again, make sure you've got washi tape, okay? Because this comes nice up. Okay, don't you don't have to move this one right away. You just want to take this off, okay? Take your little chamois. If you've got a minute, just kind of just kind of clean it up. You can always wash it later, um, but at least get most of the stuff off. And then you're gonna put this to the side. This is number one. This is your first one out of your five masks. And you're gonna put that to the side so you don't use it. <laughs> that would be bad. This is number two. I know you can't see that number on there, but it's right next to that little arrow. And um, you just need to know that that's the second one you're going to use. <laughs> or else. Um, so put your washi tape to the side for a second or uh, put it on your wrist um, because we are going to use those. I've got a, a paper towel in here. I don't think I can. Oh, here's what I'll use instead. Sometimes a nice little blot blob just dry it up really quick um, before you put the second mask on. Looks like it's pretty dry. And then I'm just going to, again, go like this. Straighten it up, nice, nice going here. Line it up on the grid wherever you, wherever you'd like to. Uh, just making sure it's even, and then we're going to tape it down. I usually do the the uh, corners first, okay, the top and the bottom, uh, just like making your bed. You know, you do the top and bottom, and then the other side is a little bit easier <laughs> with that fitted sheet, right? Um, <laughs> okay. Unless you have help. <laughs> okay, so then we get this one here. And just get, get it nice and tight. There we go. And we're ready for the second color. Now, well, let's try. Uh, I want something light. I still want something light. Now, Melon Mambo is a little bit darker than our Flirty. I think it was Flirty I wanted to use because I want to either use Melon or I want to use Polished Pink next. Your greens are obviously for your leaves, so you don't have to worry about that color. So let's do, let's do flirty, okay? Flirty is kind of in between your light and your dark, depending on how dark you wanna do it um, or how light, okay? Now, I'm not gonna use the big brush now. I'm done with him. I'm going to use this middle, the middle one. This is your very fine one. And then your brush is the, the big one that I just used, okay? So again, there's water in here and I'm just gonna squeeze it a little bit just squeeze it a little bit and I'm going to add a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to take my piece of watercolor paper. The reason I'm using the excess of the watercolor paper, I want to see how it's going to, you know, how it's going to look on water, on watercolor paper. Um, is it going to be too dark? Is it going to be too light? You know, do I need to add more water? Will it stay? You know, so that's what I'm, that's what I do. Now you don't want it too dark because you definitely want to be able to outline it next. Okay. So, uh, but you don't want it so light. So it's really in between. You've got to really play with this and see that that one was too dark, but I'm glad I checked it because it's only a little area. Um, and I'm not, it's not going to be the end of the world. Right. So I'm going to just very lightly go over the area that it wants me to go over. It's gonna start outlining the flower. And it's so pretty. This is, a, this is the beginning of your outlining of your flower, okay? And you can make some areas lighter and you can make some areas darker. Now, this is your main flower, the rose up here. I don't wanna make it too dark because then it'll, it, will, it won't look good. And then I'll be all upset. So, <laughs> I'll have to make another one. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing these for a swap. Um, that might take a while, but actually, it's not, as, it's not as hard to do as you would think. You're saying to yourself, oh my God, that's going to take forever. No. Look, I've already done two flowers already, all right? And some little tiny flowers. And it's okay to have an area darker than the other part of the rose, okay? That's not a big deal. I think it's gonna be kind of cool, actually. So I'm going to go over here again, nice and tight. You'll see that when you use this a lot, some of those areas might pop up. You wanna make sure they stay flat, okay? So I'm just gonna get in here like this one and make sure that this is really down so it doesn't 
at all start to leak. And then, because this little guy here, I could have definitely stuck a little washi tape on that. There we go. Um, and I'm just gonna get some more, not too much. And there we go, there we go. You really don't know what this is gonna look like until it's all done. <laughs> My very, very, very first attempt was ugly. Okay, I used Flirty Flamingo and I used Petal Pink and then I went and said, oh, let's do Gorgeous Grape and it looked like crap. So <laughs> you really wanna, you know, use the color wheel. Use that color wheel and it'll tell you what, what, what compliments. Like your Melon Mambo. If I stuck Melon Mambo here, I already know that the color themes uh, that will go with it is Real Red, Poppy, Cher uh, Cherry Cobbler. If I wanna do a dark complimentary, if I don't, then your triads, okay, you can do your bubble bath, you can do fresh freesia, um, you can do petunia pop, which I was thinking of doing. That's your, you know, your complimentary, or I'm sorry, the tri triadic. So this is so, so helpful. Um, if you're trying, if you're not really good on what, what matches, what doesn't match, what can I use, what can I not use? So um, just want to, you know, point that out. Um, there we go. Okay. And I just want to get just a little bit more. And then I think I'm done with this, this color. I'm going to keep this one a little bit lighter on this area. See how a little bit light here, dark there. Let's see how it turns out. It's either going to be great or not. <laughs> if it's not, then I won't, um, I won't publish this. <laughs> Hit delete. Um, okay, so... There we go. Now you'll see that it's got some areas that are nice and wet still, which is fine. I'll get that in just a second. Uh, I'm just going to dry that off really quick. These are fun. These are a lot of fun, you guys. Uh, I had bought one last year, never used it. It's the sunflower one. And then I said, okay, I'm buying this whole bundle because the mask comes with it. The die cuts come with it. And your beautiful stamp set comes with that, okay, which we're going to use today. So, you know, really, it's a great set, great price. It's on page 57 in the new catalog. Okay, if you've got it, turn to page 57 and check it out. Um, okay. And I'm just going to blow it really quick. See, it's got a little bit of, um, it's forming right now, the, the flower. I think it's looking pretty good. And let me shut this so we don't get it all over the place. What a great idea. Um, <laughs> so Flirty Flamingo, we've already got that done, so we're going to put that one away. I'm going to put Berry Burst away. I think it's going to be too dark, again, like that grape, when I used the grape, um, which made it look awful. So now I'm just going to clean off my block. Again, you could use your glass mat, um, but if you don't have a glass mat, you can use one of your blocks, okay? And I'm just going to do this one more time like this. And then we're gonna do number three. Number three is this little guy here. And you know that this is the right way because all the arrows are on the on my left, your right. And if you did it this way, it's the wrong way, okay? So don't do that. You wanna be able to see the number. If you can't see the number, you've got the wrong side. So again, just go like that. Hear that little sound? Um, measure it up here on, a, on the grid. Perfect. You can hold on to it if you like until you get it secured on both corners. And there you go. And then, oh, let's do this one. <laughs> I found this, I found this washi tape. I've, tape, I've had it forever. Cute little washi tape though, isn't it? <laughs> okay, now let's get, um, I'm going to probably just use plain old paper now. Um, you know, I think I've used all my excess ones already. I don't want to waste, oh, here we go. Here's a nice one. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this off. And I'm going to do a quick dry. And then my next color we said, which color did we say? Um, we didn't say yet, did we? Let's, I'm gonna do a retired one. Um, I think Melon Mambo was too dark. Let's just see what uh, pink looks like, polished pink. It wasn't a dark color anyway, 
you can always mix it up. What the heck, right? Make your own color. Um, you know, we've got a whole bunch of these, so use them. If, if you got retired stuff, we got retired stuff going this, you know, until the end of this month. Um, but those were the colors of the muted colors. So if you want to do a fall look, you know, with the pecan pie and, um, gosh, Moody Mauve. They weren't my favorites. They were okay for fall. They were not my favorites because they, you really couldn't use them for summer. So I'm glad they're retiring. <laughs> I love the pink colors. I wanted magenta to come back. Magenta Madness. Come on, who likes that color? I do. <laughs> okay, so this one is pink. This is polished pink. You should have this one. This is a couple seasons ago. Um, let's let's just see what it's going to look like. Why, why not, right? Um, you could also, you know, do do two different colors and make a, you know, the roses all don't have to be matchy matchy. This isn't like the granimals or anything like that. So, you know, just do it how you think you'd like to have it. Now, see, I did that to see if, how dark it was going to be. I'm glad I did. I stopped. I always do the bottom one first because I don't know what it's going to look like. If it looks awful, um, then I, I know to stop. It's not that it looks awful. It's just that I don't want it that dark. I just want it dark, but not that dark, right? So I've done that one in the polished pink. Now what we could do just for fun is... We could try Melon Mambo. I think Melon Mambo, oh, is that a darker color? Let's just see. Let's, oh, I've got some water on that. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's just see. Like that's gonna be too dark. Look at that, they almost, see, look at that. There's Melon, there's Polished Pink. I mean, it's like, you can't even really tell. So I'm gonna use my melon up here. Now, you can do a little bit darker on this because this is the outline now, the outline of your um, really pretty. I used both of them together. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. Um, okay, all right, we can do that. We can try it. Um, I'll do it back down here too. Let's see what it looks like. It's great to have different shades for a rose too, you know? They don't have to be the same color. Everything's different. Use those re-inkers, all right? That's what they're there for. Don't just buy them and save them for a rainy day. You know, use them now. Um, now some of these you can still buy. Mossy Meadow, um, Granny Apple. Um, I think Melon Mambo's in there. I even think Polished Pink might still, still be in there. You never know. Um, sometimes they keep it a little bit longer and sometimes they don't. Um, but don't quote me on that one. I'm not sure. <laughs> I got that done. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? Um, looks good from here. <laughs> we'll see, right? So I'm going to get both of these colors off and then I'm going to soak that and let's take this up really quick. I usually start from the top, so I should probably do the same thing. Start from the top because you want to lift it up. Nice. It's got an outline. You can see it, right? It looks like a blob still, but it won't, it won't um, once you get everything done. Okay. Now we're going into the greens. All right. Now, if you don't have these greens, these greens for sure are online. You can purchase these. This is night number four. Okay. Um, now, just give it a quick quick blow dry okay and it's drying pretty oh I love the way that this rose is coming out look at that so pretty and see how pretty that petal pink is you just want a little bit of color you don't want it to be too too much this one here again I did too much but we're gonna make um when we do the um actual stamping that flower will come to life okay it looks like a blob this is number four. This is mask number four. I got it all nice and straight. Straight, straight, straight. Line it up. Put your little guys on here. Well, that's what happens when you try to be fancy here. Line it up here. Okay. And washi tape here. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Let's just do it the way I was doing it. <laughs> okay. 
use this hand to hold it nice and pretty. And then go on this side. There you go. I was trying to be fancy. That doesn't always work. And notice I've got my nails done in my really pretty pinks. So obviously I wanted to do pink today. Um, I would love, love to do pretty in pink. But I can't until next month. I have to wait. So, because um, I can't get the re-inkers. I can't believe we couldn't pre-order the re-inkers. I know, right? Um, a lot of things we couldn't pre-order. I was bummed. <laughs> Okay, let me shut these because we're done with the all the all the pretty Milan Mambos and uh, polished pink and the flirty flamingo and the petal pink. Um, those were in my little pink groupings. I did try, like I said, I did try magenta. It was a little bit too much. Love the paper though. I just still have that. So pretty. Um, okay, so now next one, Granny Apple. This one's a little bit lighter than your Masi. You you should know that. Um, if you've got some old ones, like the clover one, you could get that out. In fact, I should have gotten that. I just didn't I just didn't think about it. But these colors are so pretty with it. So I'm going to still use that medium size brush, okay? This one right here. I rinsed it off a little bit. Um, looks good. I'm just going to get it a little bit more wet. Perfect. And then I'm just going to... Oh, isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, wait, did I use the right one? I did. Okay. Gosh, it comes out too dark. And then you go, oh, is that mossy meadow? No, that's too dark. So I'm going to definitely lighten that little baby right up. All right. See, now that's the color I want. So now I want a nice, soft green color. All right. Nice, nice granny. So when you look at it, you know it's granny apple. You go, oh, that's granny apple. And if you use the bigger, bigger brush, it's 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 a it's nice to use for the bigger areas, like that rose, for instance. But you can use it, this medium one is just the right size for the leaves, I think. Um, and you know, just stay with that. It's going to take a little bit longer when you're using your medium and your fine tune uh, brush, but it's a little bit more concise when you're doing those those tiny little areas. I mean, they're just so tiny too, right? Um, get that, get some more water on it if it's too dark, okay? And it'll lighten up whatever color that you're thinking, you know? There we go. Because you don't want it too dark because Mossy Meadow is going to be your dark outline. Your green, this one here, this granny apple, is just to outline it like you did with the petal pink, okay? And... It's a really zen moment. You can sit here, put some, you know, put some jazz music on or rock and roll, whatever you like it, you know, whatever, or maybe a podcast. My favorite right now is Jeff Lewis. I love him. Um, Hollywood house lift. Um, just love him to death. I want him to decorate my whole house. <laughs> just have to move to California. Um, but yeah, listen to a podcast or something. Um, get your latest uh, scoop. And, uh, or yeah, some music. It's really very, very peaceful. If you're PO'd at somebody, just say, I'm going to go and paint. <laughs> In fact, my fortune cookie last night for my Chinese food, I opened it up because I think I'm going to win millions of dollars, right? Because um, it always gives you a lucky number, right? It's lucky numbers for the lotto. I'm going to play them. Um, <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you know how I do. Um, but it says you were going to be creative. I'm like, okay. Okay, I guess I'm going to make another card. <laughs> so it was right. <laughs> now notice this area here has some um, has some of the pinks already in it. That's what that's perfect. That means that that leaf is going to outline or be part of that um, flower, and it's going to show up once we take this um, mask off. Okay. Some people call this a mask. Some people call this stenciling. So um, it can be either or, in my opinion. So um, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Just gorge. Okay, I think that looks great. I think that looks amazing. Um, and, ooh, nice and green. <laughs> I'm going to shut this because these would be bad if they got on the floor. Um, <laughs> Just turn him over now let's just take him off from the top up 
and then we'll, that way you're not smearing any anything if it's still wet. You know, most likely it is still wet. And this comes right up, right up. Oh. Look, look how pretty. It goes so pretty with the soft colors and the pinks. I really wanted a lighter um, rose. Um, again, if you want a darker rose, like a coral color, get into your um, flirty flamingo with your pumpkin pie. Um, your pumpkin pie would be your outline. Um, I used for this outline the, oh, what did I use? Oh, I used Melon Mambo and Polish Pink. Okay. And Flirty Flamingo was my, my second color, you know. So you've got a lot of different, different pinks and different pink variations. But your greens, real simple, Mossy Meadow and a Granny Apple. Granny Apple is your lighter one that I just did. And then Mossy is going to be your last you can see that my petal pink was my very first one, and then I used um, flirty, and then I mixed melon and polished on my third uh, rose mask. So when you when you're following these, because we've already done four of them, um, one, two, and three are your flowers, four and five are your leaves. Okay, so we're on we're on our last one. Okay. Get it all nice and, and this will be for the outlining of your leaves. So that's why you want the darker color. And you know, when you first do this, if it looks like crap, that's okay. Because you're finding out what kind of colors are too dark, which colors are too light. Um, and you're playing out with the colors to see if you like them. And you don't know until you try. So... I had this stuff for about a year. I had never tried it, never used it. And I said, come on, Karen, you gotta use this stuff. You can't just look at it, right? So <laughs> I am so glad that I decided to, you know, take it out of its box and take them out of here. I mean, hello. And it's amazing. Now let's try something fun. We're gonna try the fine tune one for our very last um, mask or stencil. We're gonna use Mossy Meadow. It's gonna be dark, so do, don't put it on right away. Um, you can squeeze this, all right? When you squeeze this just a little bit, it comes out, and then you can mix it up with the and see if you like the darkness or the light. So I'm, I, I know it's way too dark, uh, but I do want a little bit of darkness. Um, I always try with the smaller ones on the bottom, just to see if I like it, and I do, I do. Again, these are just the, this is, this is the stems or the part of the leaf, okay? And sometimes you want them dark, but you don't want them so dark. You know, just a little bit. And this one, this one came out dark, but I can water it down just a little bit. Again, you can always have one dark and you can have some other lighters, you know, that are light, lighter. Um... And then you just need a little bit with the mossy metal. Don't go overboard with mossy. Because then you'll be like, oh my God. Because I think I've got one where I went a little bit too overboard. See right here? So it's still beautiful. I can still use it. But I don't want it to be that dark. I just want it to be a, an outline of the stem. Especially as we get closer to the rose, which is right up here. Okay. And... Uh, just kind of plan. You want to be able to have some place to land first, you know, when you're playing with all these colors, you know, like, do I want this that dark? There we go. And again, this fine tune little guy gets that little areas because it's just a little bit of the stem. Okay, you can see it's lighter here. I haven't done it yet. This area is the mossy metal that's on top of your really light color of your granny apple. So, such a nice day today. The doors are open. It's sunny. Masters are on today. I got to watch some golf. So, uh, I'm going to definitely be watching that today. A little exercising. Did that this morning. <sighs> I think that's why I've got so much energy because I went and worked out. That's always helpful, right? Um, now we're just going to do this. See, I'm glad I do the top. If you're never sure, just do the top of it. Cause you're not going to, you're not going to ruin anything. Um, and then if you need to add water, add water. I'm just going to add a little bit more. 
lighten it up a little bit. Again, put your hand down on that. There we go. There we go. Look at that. This was the only area that was a little bit darker, but that's okay. They're different kinds of variations of the leaves, okay? And um, that that's what makes it so cool. I mean, if you go outside, you'll see different variations of a leaf, and it's got different colors in it. It's so pretty. Oh, there's one little area that we needed to do, little dots. And make sure I've got everything covered here. It looks like I do. There's these little tiny holes. You got to make sure that you get those covered because that's what gives the outline for the um, leaf. And we're done. Perfect. Okay, super. Let's um, put the top on this because this is mossy and this is this would be mossy messy. <laughs> oh, I kill me. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna do this really quick before I take it off. Okay. Now, we're done with all these, so I'm gonna move these into our trash can. There we go. I'm using a Kroger, my Kroger bag, because I didn't want to get my, my uh, trash can dirty. <laughs> I just emptied it. <laughs> So, okay, uh, get this all dried up. Let's go back in its little case now. I know, I think that's kind of cool. Now, I'm gonna move this out. Definitely have washi tape. Washi tape, your stencil or your mask as you want to call it. Uh, your paint brushes, your blending brushes, I should say, uh, your water painters is what they're called. And that's what you need to do this, plus any kind of reinker you have at all, okay? Now, we've got this. We're going to let it dry for just a second. We're going to take that stamp, all right? We're going to take this one here. I've already got it ready on, on the F block. This is such a cool block. I mean, it's got some substance to it, right? So I already know it's going to be kind of like this, okay? So I already know that because I've already done it a couple times. And as it's drying, you'll be able to see all the outlines. You want to get your uh, tuxedo black, you know, your memento. There we go. I just put some new birdseed out. I wonder if that squirrel is trying to get into it and dump it. <laughs> I've been watching him. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> I hope he didn't try to get in there. I know, you know what I'm doing now is I'm actually taking my stuff and put it inside the garage at night because I think somebody else comes and eats the whole thing because it was always gone the next morning. So <laughs> I'm fooling him. <laughs> okay, I got it all nicely covered. I mean, it does take a minute, so um, I'm just going to line it up. Hopefully, I don't drop it. I'm going to get it close to me and hold on to it. This is a this is a very substantial block, all right? So line it up with something that you can see, okay? Uh, knowing that it's going to, that's it. You're done. If it doesn't work out, you got to do another one. So I'm looking at the leaves at the very bottom here that I can see, okay? Um and I'm just gonna double check. And I think we're good here. Um, I think we're good. We're gonna just place it. Look how pretty it is when you place it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it looks so pretty that way, doesn't it? Uh, uh. Okay, let's hope it came out beautiful. Look! Look at that! Look at that. Look, look how pretty that is. Very, very, very soft. 
And as you're doing this, you'll find that you go, oh, maybe I could use a little bit more darker green. Now, no notice with my, for instance, look at the colors with the, um, the granny apple with the um, beautiful mossy meadow. See how it outlined that leaf really nice? And then look over here, petal pink with your flirty flamingo. And then you use, we use polish and melon together, just in those darker areas. You can see the polished with the um, melon. Petal pink as the outline, very faded. And then remember how this was one big blob? It looked like crap. Look how pretty it looks now. I mean, it's so pretty, so pretty. Now, if you wanna do your petal pink a little bit darker, you can do that. It's gonna turn out like this, okay? You'll see that this was petal pink here, a little bit darker. This one here, it was good, but it was it was starting to get, you. It, it starts to get too muddy, and you, don't, you really don't want that. You really want it very soft. Now, this area here had not dried, but that's okay. It still came out really cool. Um, and then, don't forget, Wingastella. So now we got to cut this little baby down because we want it to fit on our cardstock. Okay, so I want to do this at uh, three and three quarters times five. All right, so uh, this this way will be. Let's see, this way is five. This way is three and three quarters. Let's just do this way first because I always get it messed up. I'm going to just do, what I do is when I have a, a beautiful flower like this and I want to have it a lot on here, you'll notice that I go, okay, I don't know if I want to do three and three quarters like right here because it cuts that off. So I'm just going to kind of play it by ear and I'm going to cut this side off first. I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to see how close to three and three quarters we are on this side. A lot closer, don't you think? Um, and I'm just gonna go. Now, I know I have a little bit more area for three and three quarter on this side to do. Let's see if I, but there's a leaf that I really like. And I like this leaf. And is it gonna cut it off? I think it is. This is really just fine. Now, you could have just cut this all off and got it ready. But when you stamped, you wouldn't have gotten everything on there, which is fine. I mean, we're going to get rid of some stuff anyway. Um, and that's perfect. Oh, yeah. See, I wanted to keep that leaf. I like that leaf. So that's three, that is um, three and three quarters. Now we've got to do it down to five. So um, this one seems to have a little bit more on this side. So before I measure, I'll take off the most that I can take off without it getting the rows, okay? So this is supposed to be just five. And I don't want it to take out that. I've been holding off on that little guy. Let's go one more. Let's go to about right here, see what happens. Because I'm just trying to salvage as much, much of the flower as possible, okay? So, I like this and I'm aiming to make sure I keep it. So I'm gonna to have to get rid of just this one leaf right here, which is not too shabby. See, now we're done. Now it looks like I did the whole thing beautifully. So I have four, four and a quarter times eight and a half. Okay. And then I'm using pretty in pink. Of course I am. Absolutely, because it's new. <laughs> and it's pretty <laughs> and it's pink goes with my nails and I'm going to score this at five and a half all right I like to score I don't like to just fold it just makes it it makes a really fine you know fine line so you don't have that when you bend it it doesn't have all these creases in it right um let's see if I can find my oh Perfect, found it. Okay, oh, that's nice. Perfect. Got stuff on me. Let me see if that'll hide it. If it doesn't, I'll get a new one. And it hides it, perfect. I had a little bit of ink on me. Of course I did. <laughs> Look! <laughs> ink on me. Let's get some, yeah. I didn't see that, so thankfully I can hide that, so I'm not wasting that that thick 
cardstock. Um, speaking of thick cardstock, it goes up next month. So if you want to get it for a really cheap price, this is the month to do it. I'm just saying. <laughs> you definitely want to get it while you can, right? Um, boy, see, Mossy Meadow really just sticks to you. So I'll have to definitely wash my hands when, I, when I'm done with this. Okay, now, first things first, I'm going to take my Pretty in Pink. I'm going to throw this stuff away here. Make sure it stays nice and clean. Get off any other ink. I usually like to make sure everything's cleaned up before we, uh, just especially the especially your watercolor stuff, all your reinkers, because you don't want it on your brand new thing that you your masterpiece. You just did it, right? God forbid, because um, then you have to do it all over again. So I'm going to turn this over. And of course, I'm going to put a million of these on. <laughs> of course. And no, I'm not going to put a million, but close. That's why we keep running out of stock for the dimensionals, because I buy so many. Um, <laughs> See? Okay, that's, that's doable. Nine. And then just get them off really quick like this until they turn over and then you get rid of them because you don't like that. We'll put another one there. Okay. Stay. Do you ever do that? Just talk to the card like it's, it's going to answer you back. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so I take this. Looks great. Oh my gosh. looks so good. And then just line it up with any color cardstock you want to use. Whatever you've got, you know, and if you have a, one of the stencils that you've got from from anybody, just try them out. See if they, if see if you like it. Make sure you get these blending these blending things though. You've got to get those first, first and foremost. If you don't get those, then you know you're SOL. Um, let me make sure that that's lined up. I don't think it's lined up as good as I want it to be. Yeah. Okay, that's better. I just didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. In fact, I don't like this at all. Now, see, it looks like crap, but that's okay because I'm going to go right on it and do it again. And I'm still going to keep this paper because you'll never know. Sometimes when you do that, it looks even, and then you put it down, and you go, oh my gosh. And it's not the end of the world. You can save that. It looks like crap inside here, but no one's going to know. <laughs> that's. That's our job. <laughs> okay. You could put some rhinestones on here, or um, I think I just do, did nice and simple rhinestones. You don't have to do anything because it really does make its own color, you know. I always do that. See, I did it again with this one. I always want to, I always think it's even, and then I go to put this on this side, and it's not. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, love. Now, I've got this one here, and I've got this one here, but I didn't do any Wink Estella. You'll notice this one's a little bit lighter, okay, than this one. This one came out, they, they come out different every time. So I'm gonna take a little Wink Estella, and I'm gonna Wink Estella this, and it's gonna give it a little bit more life to it, especially in the areas that maybe are the darker areas. That's your outlining of your rose, right? Um, and also, don't forget to do the outlining of your mossy meadow leaf part, okay? As if you're doing uh, little the little lines of the really pretty leaves, okay? And then just little dots. The little dots here with the flowers. Absolutely. This will really give it a little shine to it. And then this rose here, you'll notice I'm just doing the area that is the darker area. This gives this little flower here a little bit more excitement. And it really just starts to shadow the colors. So pretty. Now, these have dried, so you know, you'll notice I'm not doing the petal pink area with the Wink Estella. I'm just doing the polished pink, the Melon Mambo, and the Flirty. So pretty. And then um, the Mossy Meadow area. OMG, love that. 
Look at that. So pretty. Now, we've got this one here, so I may as well give it a little bit of a... Because the, the black came out a little bit lighter, but it's not the end of the world. Don't be throwing this away. Mm-mm. This is still a beautiful card to give to somebody. Um, and it really does look like it was watercolored by hand. Nobody's going to know. Put your initials on the bottom of it, maybe with a date. Because <laughs> these are beautiful. Oh, my gosh. These are stunning. Oh, I'm just loving this. Um, I know the Wink Estellas are coming back, so don't... Uh, I know they were out of stock for a while. I've got a couple here, so um, I'm grateful I still have a couple. So, okay, that that's too darn pretty. I'm loving that. I think this one's almost done. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now it's coming out. There we go. Okay, let me just get this rose just a little bit more. It didn't come out as fast as I would have liked. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. The leaves. The leaves. Don't forget the leaves. And then this beautiful... See how this rose came out? Totally different than this rose. Totally different. And it looked like a big blob, didn't it? Oh, boy, that's pretty. And look, I'm using... Colors that are retired with some of the brand new colors of the Pretty in Pink. I mean, come on, we're rocking and rolling. So if you've got some retired pinks of reinkers, get them out. I mean, I mean, I only got this one group out right here. Um, I've got so many colors. <laughs> Go get them, get them out. And I mean, have some fun with these. I mean, they're just absolutely gorge. Look at that. You've got this one, and then you've got the darker one. If you wanted to do a little bit darker, I mean, that was F-U-N. I loved it. Loved it. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you go and you start masking. You go and get the stuff. I'll have the links listed below. And uh, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, all right? Hit it twice. You'll get notifications all the time. Um, also, you can uh, join my mailing list. I'll have that on the links below as well. Anyway, have a great Sunday, all right? Talk to you soon. Bye.